my name is Patrick and this YouTube channel will be focused on fitness, fitness related things, vlogging and stuff. And this video will probably be addressing the questions that I've had on my TikTok transformation video, which is right there. For months of dedication. <laughs> Just a quick background, I am a 24 year old living here in Sydney, Australia and I've been training for about 5 years now but I only took it seriously about 9 to 10 months ago, went through this really rocky breakup and then just had an insane drive and motivation which wanted me to get really shredded for summer. By no means am I a personal trainer or a certified coach or nutritionist so the advice I give is based off my experience and what I did to get shredded during the Sydney COVID-19 lockdown. So if whatever I say doesn't align with what you believe, that's totally understandable. Just drop in the comments your opinions and stuff and obviously I'll be very open-minded to what you have to say. In terms of how I cut, um, I cut from roughly July all the way till October. The first... first... what the the first month was pretty rocky. I didn't really have any guidance. It was up until the second and third month that one of my close mates really helped me. Uh, his name's Jade. I'll drop his handle here. Definitely hit him up if you want more professional help because he's an actual PT. Um, and then from then I kind of got proper macros, proper training, and then we bought a home gym for our house and we just started lifting that way. So we'll start with training. We'll um, I'll put a uh, photo here to show you how I did my split. You can pause the video and then screenshot it, and then I'll just overlay some audio on top of it. So my training split is a push pull leg, push pull leg six day split, with me just rinse and repeating the workouts. Just because we only had a gym set up at home, so we were very limited to exercise we had so we focused mainly on heavy compounds with the barbell followed by a lot of accessory work with our adjustable dumbbells i did cardio roughly about three to five times a week based on the amount of food i was eating so i would only power walk for 25 minutes and burn roughly 150 calories i wouldn't try and run or anything just to preserve as much muscle as I could, uh, just because I burned my muscle very quickly, and which I noticed when I was doing a lot of cardio when I first did my cut. So this is the first cut that I attempted to do at the start of the year. It didn't do too well just because my diet wasn't as good. You could see that I, lo I lost a lot of muscle rather than maintaining it. My macros were everywhere. I wasn't recovering properly. All my lifts were going down. So I just didn't really plan out the whole cut as well as I did during August. So these are my macros that I followed when I was cutting. In July, it was roughly 2800 and as each, I think every fortnight progressed, I would drop the carbs down by 20 grams as well as the fats by 10 grams. So I'll put a chart up for that real quick. And then in August, we're roughly sitting on 26. September, that's like roughly 22 to 24. And then October, we've dropped all the way down to 1900 ish. Uh, the main factor during this cut I focused on was reducing my fats and carbs, but really keeping my protein high. And that way I could continuously build muscle while still having enough energy to train and recover. So just remember guys that this is macros that worked for me. It might not work for you, so it's a lot of just trial and error in terms of finding the calories that work for you for the most optimum fat loss. So it's just see how you go per week, test the drop per carbs, test the calories, test the fats, and then definitely keep weighing yourself um, weekly. There's a scale that I bought that helps me track body fat percentage. I'll put it over here and I'll put the link below. It really helped me just keep in track of my body fat percentage and my muscle density as I 
went deeper into the cut. All right, let's begin. I'll try to do this one take. We'll start with the food I eat and the things you can buy from the grocery, just because that was a huge part of my cut. I really focused on the proteins, carbs, and fats, really just dialing in my diet. So we'll start with proteins. Proteins that I would go for is lean minced beef, so it's 95% protein. We've got eggs, pretty standard. I think I would have two a day or one. One at the end of the cut, just because it has a lot of fat. Then you have egg whites, which I put in my protein smoothie in the morning. We've got chicken fillets and chicken breasts. I prefer chicken fillets because chicken breast is really dry. And then I would have two or one steak a week just to get more red meat in. To get more protein in, I highly recommend this. It is collagen, it's just straight 15 grams protein. And this is just protein powder, which I take twice a day. Then we go to carbs. I have two toasts a day to get the carbs in. Unless you're at the end of your cut, you want to reduce the amount of carbs. This is what I stack on during the day to get carbs in. It's a very clean way of getting more carbs. If you can't hit it, or if you're getting hungry, it's a good snack. This is my oats. I don't know why I put it in here. I guess it's just easier. This goes in my morning smoothie. This is the banana. Very healthy carbs. Very good before you train. Gets your glycogen levels up. Also a good post-workout meal to restore glycogen levels. This is vegetables, very essential to get your digestion moving. And almond milk, because I don't like full cream milk. And some spices. Oh, and rice. Rice is very important, very essential in your diet. So here's one of the meals that I would eat all the time during the cut. It's basically 95% lean minced beef with spinach and seasoning in it and some rice and I'll put barbecue sauce on top. Here is another quick recipe that I personally do often. It's just chicken fillet in the oven. It just keeps it juicy so it's not too dry. And then you just have it with the rice and season it well so you don't want oh, to lose it. Too. So you just season it with paprika, um, pepper, salt, and garlic. Open it for about 20 to 15 minutes and then just have vegetables with it and some rice, pour some barbecue sauce over, and that's a pretty cheap meal. It'll probably cost you, I don't know. I love you. I don't know how much it cost you, but that's a good meal. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you found that informative, and I'll probably do more videos in regards to supplement training, not training, recovery, more recovery stuff, and like meal plans as well. I guess I can do some more meal plans, like what I ate to stay lean. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching. Definitely leave a comment, say something nice, because this is my first video, so no hate please. And any feedback would be cool as well. So if you found anything like you want to critique on, definitely just leave a comment below. Really appreciate the time you guys spent watching the video.